shower, like it's out of nowhere. She found this boy, mm. and she was like, "Hey, can I call you?" <laughs> this bitch called me. It was like, "Oh yeah, she's cheating on you." Blah blah blah. So I was like, "Okay, send me up some time." <laughs> oh shit! Oh, <laughs> this dumbass. Welcome back, everyone, to the Sappy. Yes, Daddy. You fucking asshole. Welcome back to the Sappy YouTube channel. Today we are starting our podcast called Meet and Greet. Meet. I am here with Michael. My name's Eddie. His name's Michael Smith, uh, but we call him Eddie. And then I'm also here with Dalton Tyndall today. Both uh, kind of slow. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to start our podcast. This is the first time we've ever done a podcast. This is our first episode. Um, it was just kind of an idea. It's always been kind of an idea to start one, but we really were never, you know, just put forth the effort to start one. I've always kind of wanted to have one. I have a lot of friends that are in the other videos also, Kyle, Caleb, um, that did reaction videos with me, and we've always had the idea of starting one. But yeah, so this is the first episode, um, and I hope you all enjoy it. So our first topic Today, the coronavirus. Okay, let's start with the coronavirus. It's fake. It kills people. It's fake. People die. All right, we're going to start with you first. Eddie, what, how do you feel about the corona? I personally feel it kills a lot of people, and at the same time, it doesn't kill a lot of people. Okay. That was a good, that was a good analogy there. Okay. I, 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 yeah, that was great. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, personally, I have the coronavirus. Before he was like a big thing. So did I. Like before he was even trending. Like before it was like the vid. Like I had COVID. Are you trending? It was like. <laughs> <laughs> it was in like late March. Like near my birthday too. Which sucked. But honestly. If you have COVID. And you're in the age between 15. And like 30. Don't fucking stress about it. Because nothing's going to happen. It's for the young bitches and the old hoes. That are really going to die from it. So go out and I think, enjoy your time. I think everyone should be cautious. Yeah. I think everyone should be cautious and respect other people and what they do. What the fuck was that? Did you just have like a Tourette? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think everyone should be cautious and um, respect everyone else's, you know, like whatever they decide, whether to wear a mask or not. You I mean you? I, I just I can't stand when people, you know, call people out in public, try to video them to make them feel bad for not wearing a mask. I mean, it's just up to everyone. I mean, I just feel like it kills a lot of people, but so does other diseases. So does other viruses. Um, and then moving on into the other conversation, the vaccine that's supposedly coming out in the next couple of months. Oh, no, don't get it. I'm not getting Don't it. get it. I'm not going to be a guinea pig. I'm not going to get it. You're going to grow an extra toe. Another eye. Unless they well, give me like $15,000, I'm yeah, not taking it. I need it. a well, payment. You know, like I said, my... um. Girlfriend works in, you know, the medical field and everything. And supposedly those are the first people that you're going to get the vaccine. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like they know the long term. They can't know the long term effects yeah. of um, something like that. So what are your thoughts on Karen's? Fuck Karen. I want a Dawson because Dawson's a nice person. For those that you don't know, he's actually a nice person. I don't like me and Eddie. Well, who, who, I mean, it just depends. I feel like I feel like sometimes those videos are like some some of them are being Karens, I guess you could call them. Just they're complaining for barely anything. But sometimes I'm like, I'd be the same person. I'll straight up listen. I'll straight up go to a manager. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be a damn Karen sometimes. I mean, yeah, I'd go to a manager. Like if if I'm in a restaurant and it's horrible, like absolutely horrible, and. I want to see a manager. You know, I'm going to be cool about it. I'm going to imagine them come. I'll talk to them. Everything's be cool. It's just the Karens that have to yell and make a scene and all of that. Just just to have a scene for what? Yeah, I don't care for the, the whole, you know, the hollering and cussing. And <laughs> Moving on from this boring shit. Uh, <laughs> what do y'all think about my movie news here? Because I want to include this into our podcast. I'm a big movie fan. What do you think about all the news about um, Spider-Man 3? I'm just going to wait till it comes out. <laughs> okay. That was good. Uh, there, there's so much hype about it, then there's so much doubt. Well, the rumors are that all three Spider-Men, I guess you know, that's how you'd say it, 
um, are coming back for Spider-Man 3, which I'm extremely excited for because I'm more of a Tobey Maguire fan from the original Spider-Man films than just about you know any of the rest of them. He was always my favorite. Too. Yeah, I mean, it's the one I kind of grew up with. So, I mean, I, I just felt like those movies were more organic than any of them. I feel like Tom Holland's Spider-Man's great, but I feel like in every movie he has, he, he depends on someone else. Maguire's is like... He's a better actor when it comes to like dramatic scenes and like the way he acts. Now, I I will say, look, the out of all three of the actors, I think Andrew Garfield's the best actor. He had the best yeah. like story. Well, I mean, not just in Spider Man, but in other movies too. I think I just think he is probably the best actor out of the three. So, but when it, when it comes to doing your own stunts and like being like a true like being able to do backflips and all the stuff that you see in the Spider Man movies, I think. Tom Holland. Oh yeah, Tom. Is Tom Holland is definitely the most, the most yeah. acrobatic. He's got a gymnastics background yeah. and stuff. So, but I mean, like I said, a lot of people are saying it's not going to happen. A lot of people are saying that it's going to happen. I, I personally don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I think it's going to happen because it's like now. It's like even if they weren't planning it, the hype is so real that it's like the hype is so real that what I mean, if they don't do it, I think it's going to be a complete disappointment. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I think. It's an amazing concept to bring all three Spider-Mans. Like well, the, the only reason why I think they're even going for it is because the, um, what was that movie called? The Spider-Verse movie, the cartoon that came out oh, yeah. with Miles Morales. Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, in yeah. Spider-Verse. That did so well as an animation, and that's why they're, I think, trying to come into it. But it, they're going to have, like, you know, with Doctor Strange 2, the multiverse of madness. I mean, they're, they're going to have multiverse in that. Um I mean, it's kind of like every movie that has like multiple continuums, like Star Wars and like all those movies where you bring back old characters, like Star Wars. We were talking about last night watching The Mandalorian, which is a great show. That like if all the Jedi's came back, like that's what people look for, and that's what gets you hyped up. Which, if you guys ask me, like you want my true opinion, I think it is going to happen. I don't know if you know um, Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield are going to be just two cameos. But I do think they're definitely going to be in the movie. Um, Just a clip scene of them in the same area would be Well, awesome. even a few months ago, and Eddie, me and Eddie were talking about this earlier today, um, Electro, who played Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Andrew Garfield, um, Jamie Foxx, posted on his Instagram a couple months ago and immediately removed it after, which I think is a clear sign that he wasn't supposed to say anything, um, stating that he was glad to be a back a part of the Spider-Man universe and that he was going to come back this time and not be blue. And then he posted uh, fan art along with it with three Spider-Mans in the poster. So I just, like I said, I don't think that's a, that, that's not a coincidence. Uh, another thing, too, we want to go ahead and go into is Warner Bros. Um, I don't know what it's called now. Warner Brothers? Something like that. Warner Brothers versus AMC. So AMC theaters are mad at Warner Brothers right now because Warner Brothers have decided to release their movies in theaters but also release them on HBO Max at the same time, which makes you know AMC kind of pissed because they're going to be losing money. So they're mad at them right now, um, and I'm going to read out the list. There's, you got King Kong versus Godzilla, Wonder Woman, Space Jam 2, The Conjuring 3. I mean, I understand why the theaters would be mad about that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely takes away money from them. Yeah. But then again, if you look at it with COVID and all of this, there's a, there's there a, is yeah. COVID's not real. There, there's there's an area <laughs> of sympathy for them because they are doing the right thing by keeping people. Yeah, inside. I I agree. Um, you know, I, I I don't know. I'm a big movie theater fan. I don't oh, yeah. want it to go away, but COVID's definitely trying to make it go away. Besides the super expensive concession stand, I always, always sneak food in. Oh yeah, always. Oh yeah, dude. Listen. Like a purse. Not even lying. You wear a purse. <laughs> I got caught one time. How you get caught? I got caught because I was I had so much damn candy in my pants that it was like down my pants legs. <laughs> Did they ask? No shit. It? No. Listen. Listen. You could have been like, it's my listen, song. We're yeah, walking that's in. That's your shmeat. <laughs> My, my smeat did not fall out my damn pants, okay? <laughs> you got a medical <laughs> issue. <laughs> Listen, man, no. And everyone's like, okay, well, obviously thinking, he was obviously a kid when this happened. No, I was dating my girlfriend. Uh, we were going to the theater, and I was trying to hide candy, and 
I didn't have enough room in my pocket, so I, I for some dumbass reason, I was thinking it'd be funny to put it down my, you know, my, yeah. yeah. And I almost made it. Like, you know how you go, go up there and they rip off your ticket? Yeah. And you go through. Well, literally, the moment she rips off my ticket, a chocolate bar fell out my fucking bottle. That's so nice. Like, what type of candy? It landed on the ground, and she looked straight at me, and I just looked at her and just grabbed it and just walked away. She uh, didn't say a word. Uh, it was slick with it. She didn't say, no, she seen me. I don't she, think they care. I honestly no, she, don't she, really she really didn't. She really didn't. She didn't care at all. Especially the movies here, the theater. And uh, out of the, all of them, my top movie I'm excited for, The Conjuring 3. That's going to be a great movie. It's called The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Um, so I, I mean, I'm extremely excited about that. I don't know why. The movie's going to be great. Listen, yeah. it's going to be totally different from the other ones. They're moving away from the haunted house theme. It's not going to be in a house this time. It's an actual real court case that happened where a man murdered someone and said the devil made him do it. And I think it'll be interesting to see them try to prove, and Lorraine Warren try to prove in the courtroom that ghosts are real, the devil's real. That's be crazy. That's a pretty, pretty uh, interesting, deep topic. Anyways, on to something else here. What do you guys think about the PS5 and the Xbox One Series X? Can't they're afford both it. Pretty trash. Can't afford it. They both, they both have their downfalls, but they're both. Pretty all I gotta say downfalls. is, all I gotta say is, fuck scalpers. Yeah. Fuck I hate you. If you're watching this, you're watching this. All you buying like fifteen and twenty consoles, selling them for. I appreciate the grind, man. Thousand dollars. You're making all that money, but fuck you. Okay, because I almost got one, um, but you know, someone lied to me at Target. <laughs> I was so pumped. The dude told me be there in the morning, uh, around six thirty. And first come, first serve. Get there. There's like five other people there. And they're like, oh, no, that guy lied. I'm telling y'all, if I could have killed, I, if I could have really strangled someone, <laughs> listen, it, it would have it not been good. It has Dawson, nothing to do with what we're talking Dawson about. Dawson got blue ball. I did get blue balled. By Target. By Target. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Serious conversation here. This is going around TikTok, and it's kind of a... Kind of a weird topic, kind of, you know. Kind of, kind of, kind of a little different here. You know, a lot of people are saying that and bringing to everyone's attention on TikTok that girls don't like guys body shaming them. One hundred percent, they don't like it. I think it's wrong. I don't think you should body shame anybody. But then they come right back. A lot of them do that. Say these things. They don't don't body shame me, and they talk about a guy's dick being small. Thank you. Listen here. That shit pisses me off because it's like. I have a two-inch dick. So, I mean, and he does too. <laughs> and he does also. We, we've we done, we've seen each other's dicks before. Uh, 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 well, here's my thing. So, we have a lot of types. Everybody has a type. It's a joke. The dick joke was, it was a joke. Yeah, it was okay. a joke. Don't okay. listen to that. Full 12 but, inches. <laughs> everybody has a type. We have a preference. Each of us. I don't, I'm not into 12 big inches. No, nothing against y'all. Love my big women. But I'm not into it. So if I have a girl text me and she's a big woman and she's like hitting on me, flirting and stuff, I'm, I'm not going for it. And then they get mad saying, oh, it's Well, well I think bad. what they mean by body shaming is like you just going out of your way to make them feel bad about their weight. Now, I, I don't think making somebody feel bad is, you know, like just going out of your way being a complete asshole is okay. But I do think there's a difference between body shaming and letting them know that they're unhealthy. Yeah. Because I, you know, a lot of big girls are like, look, look, you know, I'm confident, I'm confident, be confident all you want, but I'm not going to encourage you being unhealthy. No. I mean, like I said, there, there's some girls that I, I mean, I've known that are kind of chunky, but they're really, they're kind of healthy. They're not really over, over, overweight. Yeah, some are just um, naturally big. Yeah, I mean, and it's all got to do with metabolism. I can eat whatever I want. He probably can too. And yeah, yeah. Eat as much as we want and we don't gain weight. We yeah. know Eddie. I'm so excited. Uh, I can't. Like Let's jump to uh, TikTok drama. This oh. is a little bit old, but I, I kind of want to talk about it. Charlie D'Amelio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, many people know her. She's got like 100 mil. I think she, I don't know if she hit 100 mil or not. Yeah, she, she was around 99, 98, and she got a lot of backlash because in one of her statements, she said, hold on, I've got it right here. Uh, he, she said, I just wish I had more time because imagine if I hit 100 mil one year after hitting a mil. And the way she said it, I think kind of made it put a bad taste in everyone's mouth because it sounded like she was very unappreciative of the other 99 mil, like that wasn't enough. Um, 
And then of course, in one of their little TikToks, one of the little shows, eating with the Emilio's or whatever, uh, the chef they had, their family chef, served, I think, uh, different dishes, and she was just acting like it was the nastiest shit in the world. That was just, her sister. Or her sister, whatever. Both of them are taking, you know, a lot of heat. Um, which they both come out after and said that then even the chef's been like, we're fine, it's okay. I think people are uh, going overboard with it. Oh, yeah, always. Actually, famous, do. at first I was like, clout. no. It's clout chasers. I mean, if, if you have someone that has, like, so much clout as she does, so young, and it's easy, it's an easy target, and they say one wrong thing, and they can go viral, that's what they look for. Honestly. I personally think it's just a bunch of trolls. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, and people are going to try to bring anyone down if they have the opportunity. They see the opportunity, they're going to take it. But... You know, I do think at the same time, she released a video soon after that of her. She did release a video soon, like, you know, right after that of her crying, not being able to take the hate. If you can't take the hate, she doesn't need to be on social media. Can't take the hate, don't get the fame. That was lame. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's jump to something else here. What do, you, what do you guys think about the Jake Paul knockout? A waste of Sick. time. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Let's hear it from Dalton first. Dalton, what do okay, you think about well, it? Look. So I'm not like a Jake Paul fan, but when it comes to boxing, dude has hustle. Dude has grind. So I, I seen it. I was going for him. Everybody was on Nate. I was like, you know, I'm going to give my boy Jake a chance. Knocked him out. Clean. Out. We thought he was dead. That man went slump. And everybody's still hating on him. Jake, that man his respect. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't, like, and it's really just his character that makes me not be able to cheer for him. I'm looking at Conor McGregor. But, but, but like, he's cocky, but Jake's so just... So Conor. He's just an ass. So is Conor. How Conor does it with style. I'm saying, but Jake hasn't had the opportunities to do it like Conor has. Conor, when he first came, was a little bitch. Like, talked shit to everybody. Everybody hated him. And now he worked his way up, knocking people out. So I'll bet you Jake's going to well, do the same Conor, thing. Conor, though, but don't shit on his, like, you know, what... He don't shit on what made him either, though. Yeah. There's true. been a lot of interviews of Jake literally saying, fuck YouTube, I'm done with YouTube, and YouTube is what made you, pretty much. It's what made you. I, I, yeah. I mean, Connor, don't, I mean, Connor, don't get me wrong, um, he can be an ass sometimes, for sure, but I, it's usually just within the fights. Yeah. I mean, he's made some bad decisions outside of fights, too, but Jake, there's a lot of times where he's been just, I mean, completely ignorant or very aggravating and it has nothing to do with boxing or trying to sell a show. I would say he's young, but there's a chance, uh, there's, there's a limit to where you say, oh, he is young, making dumb decisions. Well, I mean, look how Logan Paul's, Logan Paul's changed a lot. He, he has. He, um, he's humbled himself yeah. a lot, and uh, that's the same situation. Him and KSI were an asshole to each other, but they were trying to sell a show. I think Jake is an asshole. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Period. I mean, I just think he's very cocky and just thinks no one can touch him. And moving on to the next thing, he's calling out Conor McGregor. Obviously, he's very he's very high up in his head, which is fine. Confidence is great. Arrogance isn't. Um, I feel like arrogance is what sells tickets. It, I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying like, for, his, for, his fighting, for his fighting mentality, going into a fight being arrogant is dumb. I don't, I don't, like, if he goes into a fight, be confident, believe in yourself, but if you go in there arrogant thinking, I'm just going to beat this dude's ass, and I'm not expect to fight out of it, that's arrogant. what if, what if he keeps that mentality, and then goes to be great? Are we still going to be what if, though. I don't know what if. Yeah. I personally think Jake needs to go through a controversy like Logan did, Me for him to come down from his high horse. I think he needs to be getting knocked out of Conor McGregor. I agree, I do, I think, I think he just needs to be humbled once. If he can be humbled from that, and change his character and be like, you know what? I lost. I was like overly confident, overly arrogant, but I'm going to come back and be great. Then I would actually cheer for him. But the whole, I'm going to knock Connor out. I'm just going to just destroy him. I'm like, dude, yeah. he's not going to destroy Connor. No. <laughs> I mean, if Connor doesn't destroy him, it'll be, I mean, it could be close, but he's not about to just destroy Connor McGregor. No. Um, Connor is a very strong guy. His actual physique right now is amazing. He looks big. even bigger than what he was. Just talking about Jay, there's a lot of what ifs. But with Logan, I was going to ask y'all, do you think he should drop boxing and start doing MMA, UFC? 
I just don't think that guy... I mean, Logan acts like he likes to fight, but I don't really feel like he likes to fight. Really? I really don't. I don't think that's his thing. Honestly, because he's had a lot of, like, controversies, like, real life with people, I think like, he'd be better at it. And he doesn't do anything. Like, he's not, like, a violent person. Like, wrestling-wise, I think he'd be better. Yeah. He's just he's a bigger, he's an all-state wrestler. Yeah, I mean, I think he'll do better in MMA. Um, but do I think he really wants to get in there? Hell no. Yeah. He makes too much money, man. Why, yeah. go, why go mess up that yeah. beautiful face? All right, so what do you guys think about the Mike Tyson fight that came right after Jake's? I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good fight. I thought it was a great fight, actually. I think it was a good fight, but um, I don't think it was a draw. I think Mike definitely kicked his ass. Yeah, he definitely won. Um, had had the more energy at the end of the fight. Um, I think you could have win a couple more rounds. Snoop Dogg was freaking great yeah. as a commentator. Best celebrity commentator ever. Did y'all hear that joke about the uncles? Yes, dude. Oh, it was like two uncles fighting at the barbecue. He said, look, my two uncles fighting at the barbecue. That was great. <laughs> it was so funny. He would just say, like, he'd say stuff, but... It was so. It wasn't like out of nowhere. Like it went with everything. Yeah, it was so fluid. Like it was the fact. Like even if you're not, like, you don't know who Snoop Dogg is. Like the old people watching, like that just want to watch people fight. I bet they enjoyed that. Yeah, well, I mean, big respect to Mike Tyson and Roy Jones for oh, yeah. getting in there and beating each other up at 50 years old. 50 years old. Because I mean, they don't need the money, and it, like even though they got paid, um, they really don't need it. No. Uh, not not to get punched in the face again. <laughs> Mike walked out of there feeling okay, and at the end of the fight, Roy was standing there and literally said, everything he threw at me hurt. Mike definitely was the better fighter in, in yeah. better shape for that fight. Um, I'm excited. Roy, uh, uh, I'm excited. Uh, Vander Holyfield's actually called out Mike Tyson. Um, so he, I know he's been training. I've been watching his videos. I still think Mike's going to take him. Um but yeah, that'll be a great fight. I know that's going to bring in the money for charity, and I think that'll be a good fight, as uh, long as Mike doesn't bite his other ear off. Let's go ahead and jump to the weird question of the day. I want to start doing this on every podcast. Just It's just a curveball. be weird as shit, and uh, it's pretty random. So I'm going to start with you, Eddie. Okay. Would you suck? I'm gonna say it's pretty uh pretty clearly here. Would you suck a midget's dick for a thousand dollars? For a thousand dollars? For a thousand dollars, would you suck a midget's dick? Yes. Alright, you're a hoe. Uh Dalton, would you suck a midget's dick for a thousand dollars? It's a high price. It's a high price? I would do it, yeah, yeah, yes, I would do it, but I feel like it should even be a thousand dollars. I feel like some people would do it just for the experience. What about the experience, dude? How many times have you hooked up with the a midget? opportunity to suck a midget's dick before? Because look, this this was my thing. It it's out of nowhere, but if you take an average person like us, average people, and you take it's still a dick. Say I know, but we say we have a five inch dick. And we have a midget, a short. We person, know his dick size, and he is. He says he's a five inch dick. Is it still like the same size? Yeah, it's still five inches. It just looks bigger on him. Man, so like when you look at, but him, you're still talking about sucking dick. Would you do it? No, not Why for a thousand. Not for a thousand. Ten thousand. Fifteen hundred. You you gotta get you gotta give me more money. Two thousand. No hell no. Three thousand. One hundred thousand. Oh, hundred. Yeah, I probably suck his dick. Yeah, probably would. That's pretty sad, but I I probably do it. I mean, nothing against you yeah. know gay people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm straight, so it's kind of gross to me. And uh, I mean, I'm straight, but the experience. <laughs> the experience. No, hell no. I'm not. No, not for a grand. No. Would you rather? Do you like being on top or bottom? Bottom. That's a good ass question. You you know, it depends what I'm feeling like. You know, if I feel. Go ahead. Go, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. If I'm feeling frisky, if I'm feeling kind of just fucking like a want it, probably on top. See, my thing is hard day at work. No, I'm on bottom. I I do it for the girl. When I'm having sex, okay. like I want the girl to remember that shit. So I'm a top person. Oh, see, but you're like me and you are on two different levels. Like you're you're messing around with all these different girls, and I'm <laughs> in a committed relationship. So I, mean, I come home from hard day work, and I'm like, like even when I was in a serious me. relationship, it was like, <laughs> like I just like beating shit up, like just railing them. 
I feel like you're if you're a bottom person, you're lazy. Yeah, oh hell yeah. If you just I if take you fully just credit there. there. Bro, you know what turns me on, dog? Like that, Straight up like butt ass naked tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. What the fuck? You like the jiggle? Yeah, the jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> you said you like the jiggle? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Can you I'm... finish it off with a good helicopter? <laughs> Fucking a good helicopter. All right, this is more of a question I feel like for a girl, but would you rather have your hair pulled or your butt slapped? Nope, not answering that. Definitely not answering that. Next question. Smack this ass. (laughs) I feel like even if it's not gay, whatever answer you give is gay. What's wrong with that? It's 2020. You can't do that. We're going to cancel off our first episode. It's not that. It's just I'm straight. I don't like dudes. That's what I'm so, saying, but I mean, if if you, you had to pick your girl, and she's she's like, all right, you want me to pull your hair or smack your ass? Neither. It, it doesn't turn me on. It doesn't it, turn it's, me not, on it's for her pleasure. I don't care. It, it doesn't pleasure me, so why would I let her do it? Pulling your hair fucking hurts, man. You exactly. have the perfect ponytail for it. That's what I'm saying. I don't Fuck want people you. touching my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you like it with the lights on or lights off? Oh. Ooh. Fucking on. on. Like staring into their soul. It's like... <laughs> well, I don't, I'm just kidding. I don't want to see myself. It's like if you're like... <laughs> <if they're, laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Roll it back. <laughs> Roll it back. Hold on. Did you say you don't want to see... You don't like seeing yourself? No, not like myself, but I don't want to like... You do it in the mirror? mirror. Yeah, I don't do you do it in the mirror? I mean... You, if you... <laughs> <laughs> Where is this going? Look, Hold look, on. Look, no, Eddie, Eddie's just you're not taking the subject. And he looks back and he's just looking in the mirror. He's like, How many mirrors do you have in your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> they just surround you? I'm confused. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to break this down here. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying, what? where did that come from? He no. literally said, <laughs> You come out when you jack off? No. I don't like not. seeing myself. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> where is that going here? If if you all right, so I brought this up to them yesterday. It's it's just a little little joke question. If for guys and girls, if you were about to have sex with somebody, and you you know you're making out, you're getting to the bed, y'all get undressed, and you look down and you see the underwear, and there's a bad shit stain, are you still having sex with them? No. I mean, everyone shits. Let's get that out of the way here. Yeah, but if you have a shit yeah. stain, it means you don't wipe. Yeah, you don't wipe right. I wipe till there's nothing left on the toolpaper. paper. Yeah, my that ass. I mean, she's taking one stroke and then my she's ass done. be raw. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for a girl. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of gross. I'm not going to lie to you. Have you ever had that happen to you? No, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> speaking from I feel experience. Like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> No, I mean just like. So you walk in. So what you're saying is you're about to do something. You're about to like. You're about to go at it. You telling me after all these girls you've been with, (laughs) you've never encountered a shit stain before. Never. Uh, It's just not like for guys. It's just like oh, I have a shit stain. But for girls, wait a minute, hold on. Do you have shit stains? No, I'm just saying like I feel like for guys it's not like a big thing. Like if a guy has a shit stain, it's like oh. If I was a girl and a guy had a shit stain, I'd be like. You're fucking nasty. I mean, yeah, but like if a guy, if a guy is like, there's shit house, in your pants. <laughs> nasty bitch. Like there, if it, for a guy and he's about to take a shower and he gets undressed, there's a shit stain. It's not a big deal. But for a girl, it is a big deal. Where's this coming from? Per, how many times have you done this? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> but for a girl, I get, I get see, partially if they what you're see saying. the shit stain. I feel like they flip out. Like I feel like it's more of a big deal to girls than it is to guys. So if a girl has so low self confidence that like she's okay with having I don't care stains. what she looked like even if I was single and if she was the baddest bitch on earth I don't care if she had a shit stain yeah I'm we're about to get it that. on she had a shit stain in her freaking underwear I'd straight up tell her ass listen you gotta go wash your ass I mean yeah I mean go wash your fucking asshole where you before we be get it on here because if I like go to grab your ass and my finger slips in <laughs> <laughs> and I pull my finger out and there's shit on it <laughs> you won't lick that shit off <laughs> Fucking Eddie. It would no, be there's Eddie. no way in hell. It would be Eddie. I'm saying him. Eddie's there's no saying. way in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where we're going at this point. So, if you guys enjoyed our podcast, then I appreciate it. I love you. 
Okay, we love you. Uh, come back for the next one. It will be coming out soon. I have plenty of new things to talk about. Some of the same, some some different. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you coming and you coming. We might have some new guests next time. Uh, these are gonna be kind of the main, more main guys, I think. Um, but yeah, if you didn't like us, then fuck you. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's whatever, whatever, bitch, whatever. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all y'all watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Come back to the next episode, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.